Well, it's nice to revisit my favorite cinema again. Uh, they've been doing some renovations at the moment, so I thought to take like a leave of sabbatical or something like that. Went to other cinemas. But I finally got to see Black Panther. Um, it wasn't a film that I had on my watch list. I didn't really care or have any interest in it uh, for the latter part when the trailer came out, but I'm glad I saw it because of all the talk that's been in the media right now surrounding its uh, uh, racial element and its politics, and also the fact that it was a very successful film as well, made about more than 200 million on its opening weekend. I'm glad to say uh, it wasn't that as bad as I was expecting it to be. In fact, it was uh, actually a lot more deep than I would imagine it to be. You may think it's supposed to be some sort of race-bathing narrative that's going to make the white race uh, seem evil or something like that. Um, but it's a little bit a bit more than that. I don't want to get into some more race war argument. That's not this. Uh, that's not what this video is all about. It's I'm, I'm talking about the film itself and what kind of message it's trying to bring. Essentially, as you probably know the story already, you probably have seen it by now you've probably seen the second time um, and it's set in an African kingdom called Wakanda and that uh, Chala played by Chadwick Boseman um, tries to take the throne and eventually uh, his cousin from Oakland California is trying to threaten the existence of the kingdom by trying to provide weapons and armistice to those that were oppressed both have uh, legitimate goals but one is more dangerous than the other and even threatens the kingdom itself um, essentially if you're expecting some sort of Lion King sort of premise you're definitely gonna get it right here in fact funny it's well Marvel is owned by Disney and Disney also distributed and made Lion King which was in itself based on Hamlet which was in itself sort of a ripoff of a famous anime called Kimba from the 1990s or 1980s I can't remember that but uh, the point is uh, there's a lot in common with that particular film, but um, as far as uh, black superheroes, I know it's been the talk of it at this moment, um, you know, there's been Spawn, which I also liked as well, but I think Black Panther is probably like the go-to film if you're talking about that sort of thing, especially given the themes it deals with and the fact that it actually even goes there. I was only expecting for it to deal with Issues of imperialism, globalization, racism, and political radicalization, especially much of it came coming from the Michael B. Jordan character who calls himself the Killmonger. Um, so I thought, you know, there was some lot of very pertinent elements that were going on here that might prove to be divisive for quite a few viewers of, you know, certain ethnic groups. But actually, it didn't prove to be the case because the movie made. A lot of money and uh, it got an A plus score and cinema score and even done well in the United Kingdom as well and that you know that's a multi-ethnic country uh, undergoing Brexit and stuff but it didn't really phase the box office success of Black Panther um, I will say as far as Marvel films are concerned I don't like MCU I don't follow it I just like Ant-Man Ant-Man is my favorite film and it's one of my favorite superhero films Black Panther is not quite there but it does stand out on its own, especially for what it is, a sort of cultural relic. It's more than just a superhero film. It's more than some MCU Marvel nonsense. It's actually a political parable at the end of the day of the dangers of, like I said, imperialism, globalization, racism, and political radicalization. And in the age of Donald Trump and Brexit, and whatever is going on in the news right now, Russians are being barred from the Winter Olympics and that sort of thing. This just might be a bit of a fresh air. Or it might prove to be so incendiary that there might be riots at the cinema. But I didn't see any. And if it actually occur, I'd actually even hear the N-words being spelled about.